In this session, we are going to discuss how do we set up environment for uh, working with TypeScript. It's a very basic, simple thing. How to configure the environment on your machines for TypeScript? Let's see. Just what you have to do is first, you need to install Node.js because you can use Node.js or you can use YAND because we need a package manager. So, in your computer, you need a package manager so that you can use the package manager for uh, installing various packages. So make sure that first you have any package manager. So by default, uh, we can install Node.js from the official Node.js site. So you can go to the other downloads and this is the Node.js official. And uh, in Node.js official, you can download the installer for Windows or any other operating system services. Once you install Node.js, you can get this MSI and a setup installable file you can install in your PC. Once Node.js is installed, you can uh, verify from the command prompt. Just open the command prompt and uh, here you can type so node-v, it will get the version of Node.js. So make sure that you are installing and using the Node.js version 10x and higher. So next, you can install uh, Node.js by default gets, gets you the Node Package Manager. You can check the version npm-v, that is the Node Package Manager. So once you have installed Node.js, you can check the versions of Node and Node Package Manager. Once the Node Package Manager is ready, now you need to install TypeScript. To install TypeScript, you have to run the command npm install hyphen g and uh, TypeScript. This is to install TypeScript. So once you run this command, it will install the latest version of TypeScript in your machine. So g makes it global in access so that you can use it from any drive directory in this machine. So we are installing npm globally and it is configured as TypeScript. Latest version, you can get the TypeScript latest version from here. Once it is installed, you need to check the version of the TypeScript. In my machine, it's already installed. So we will check the version of uh, TypeScript. So you can check that by using tsc-v, which will tell you the TypeScript compilers and its version. And this is the latest version till date we have, that is 3.7.2. So TypeScript is successfully defined and it is running now. So we have an environment set up for TypeScript. Now you can install an editor, which is required for writing our TypeScript programs, compiling and executing. You can use various types editors. So I will use the official editor, so Visual Studio Code. So you can go to the Visual Studio Code official and you can download this Visual Studio Code. You can download this Visual Studio Code. It is a free open source. So you, it is good for your TypeScript. You can use various types of editors. So TypeScript, you can compile, run from any editor like Sublime WebStorm or Visual Studio Code. We are using here Visual Studio Code. Once you download and install Visual Studio Code, then you can open Visual Studio Code from your PC. And uh, once the Visual Studio Code is ready, I suggest you to install a plugin here. Initially, yeah, this is the initial screen. So what you do is once you install Visual Studio and open your initial screen, Install support for JavaScript that is good for you so that it will support all the JavaScript syntaxes and references that is required for TypeScript because it has to transcompile. So once this environment is ready, now we will see how we can create a project, compile, run the TypeScript programs. Thank you.